May 19th and I spent the afternoon kind of doing some rabbit work um yeah and I'm gonna show you what that means so here's Duke hi Duke the Angora rabbit and he gets a trimming in a couple of times a year and right now the trimming is just about getting the mats out and getting some of that heavy bulky fur off of him so he got a nice trimming today and by nice I mean yeah there's like <laughs> there's like almost a whole nother rabbit here and it's kind of crazy so I cleaned out the cage and washed it with the hose and moved it. It was right here. Now the chickens are working it all in. And then I have all the poop in a bucket to put everywhere else. And there's the other two ladies. Duke, let's go visit your girlfriends. What do you say? You wanna go visit your girlfriends? Yeah, so just to give you a little perspective. <laughs> What a mess! What a mess! <laughs> and there's babies. Hi guys! You enjoying a little grass time? Let's put Mr. Duke down. There's your girls. He looks a lot. He looks a little scraggly. <laughs> oh, Duke. Well, you're bound to feel a lot better, that's for sure, buddy. <laughs> yes. And there's another exciting thing that I discovered today. Oh, I am covered. Yeah, it's crazy. It is my gumi is ripening. Which I'm very excited. This is one of my favorite berries of all time. A goon. I think this one looks good enough to eat. Look how big they are. Not very big. And, right on my... Mm. You can see, there's a little bit of a a seed in the middle, but the seed is, it's not a hard seed, it's very easy to eat or spit out. It doesn't, it's not like it's gonna crack your teeth or anything, you can actually squeeze it. But, um, so delicious. I want another one. I need to be picking these for freeze drying, but I'm excited. Mm. It's a nitrogen fixing bush. And mm, so good. It's so good. What do you say, buddy? What do you say, Tina? It's good stuff. Alright. Forever Foods Farm. Signing out. <laughs>